Hello everyone, this is Dilip. In the last video, we have seen the problem of overfitting and how regulation can help solve it in logistic regression. In the current video, let's look at some problems associated with logistic regression when using it for large scale problems. So on the left side, you see a graph showing apples and bananas. And if you are to use logistic regression to solve this problem, what you get is a nice parabola that looks like this. And you can see using a simple equation, like a quadratic equation, you can have a decision boundary that separates apples and bananas. And given a new test data, you can identify it to be apple or banana. But for example, if you have the input test data as shown in the right side picture, and if you are to draw a curve to fit logistic regression into this, what you get is a curve that looks like this. In order to fit this curve, you have to go for a higher order polynomial equation for your hypothesis. And going for a higher order polynomial equation, we will see that it will take much more time complexity, both in terms of computing resources, as well as the time taken to calculate the result. For example, if you have two features, and if you take a quadratic equation as to be your hypothesis, the number of parameters you have to calculate is two square, which is four. And you will see the minimum number of parameters you have to calculate for a nonlinear hypothesis. Nonlinear hypothesis means if you have order of polynomial two or more than two, it will be big of n square. So having two features, it will give you n square is four. But if you have more features, then it will be like very much higher order polynomial. Just look at this real world example of classifying whether the picture contains a car or not. And if you take a picture, here it is color picture, but if you convert it to grayscale, as you know, each pixel, like a box you'll take, it will be much more closer than what I'm drawing, but every pixel you take, it will have any value between zero and two five pi. And if you take this whole picture, you will get a lot more number of features because each pixel you have to take as a feature. Just if you take a small 50 cross 50 picture, it will have 2,500 features. And if you do big O of N square, it will be 6.2 million parameters. And the 6.2 million parameters, if you start solving logistic regression, it will take a lot of time to solve. And in a reasonable amount of time, it's not possible to solve only. So in the next video, let's talk about neural networks that helps in solving the, this problem. Thanks everyone for watching the video. Bye.